Hey guys, it's Mia and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And if it's freezing cold where you live, I hope you're staying nice and warm and that you're safe on the roads. I've noticed that the days are getting a little longer each day and that means spring will eventually come and that makes me very happy. So much so, I've actually came up with some art goals that will help me to continue to grow as an artist and get out of my comfort zone. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys some of my goals for January and February. I didn't come up with any New Year's resolutions for this year, but I did come up with a motto. Art every day. It doesn't matter if I'm working on an oil painting or just doing something in my sketchbook, nor does it matter if I'm working on something for two hours or even 10 minutes. It has to be art every day. And if you guys been following me, you know I was absent for a while because I was discouraged with my artwork and thought it wasn't good enough. I spent a lot of time avoiding art and not learning or improving at all. And I do not want to fall back into that. I like where I am today on my art journey, but three, six, or nine months from now, I want to be further along, not in the same place. So this year, it's going to be art every day. I'm going to enjoy the process. I'm going to grow and not compare myself to others. As I said before, I didn't make any New Year's resolutions, but... A general goal of mine is to improve my overall drawing skills and that inspired me to come up with my art every day motto. But ever since December, I've been practicing drawing portraits and working on improving my proportions and values. So back in the day, I used to draw portraits using the grid method. It's an okay method to use for accuracy or if you're new to learning how to draw portraits like I was at the time. And I used the grip method a lot, and after using it for so long, it started to feel like a crutch to me. And being able to draw a portrait without using a grid or tracing is a big deal for me. I like the grip method, and I'll use it if I have to, but I like to have the option of using different tools. So now that it's the middle of January, I can actually see the progress I've made with my portrait drawing, and I'm looking forward to seeing how far I can go with it. On the days that I'm not inspired to draw faces, I either do sketches or scribbles of pretty much anything, no matter how boring or simple the subject is. It can be a cube, a piece of fruit, or some type of animal. Many times I've experienced art block, I think we all have, and when I experienced art block, I wanted to draw or paint something, but I didn't know what I wanted to do, how to do it, and nothing inspired me. So I ended up creating nothing. But now I'm open to drawing anything. It, it doesn't have to be exciting. The purpose is to continue working on my art fundamental skills and continue building a visual library. So the more stuff I draw, the bigger my library and the more references I can pull from and create whatever I like. So what you see me doing right now is drawing vertebrae. I have never been inspired to draw vertebrae before or any kind of human anatomy, but I was like, I need to get out of my comfort zone and add to my visual library. I need to work on my skills. So this is actually fun, and I'm enjoying the challenge of drawing things I've never drawn before. Last but not least, I have a couple of specific goals that I'm currently working on this month. One is to complete the sketchbook you see me drawing in. I would like to do that by the end of February so I can do a sketchbook tour. It's been a long time since I've done a sketchbook tour, so I want to complete and share this with you guys so you can see the interesting things I've been drawing. And the second goal I'm currently working on is to turn in three Evolve assignments by the end of February. I'm still in block six, but I'm almost finished working on assignment number 10, 
And after that, I'll have 10 more assignments to go until I get to block seven, which is the block I'm really looking forward to starting. I would like to get through block six as quickly as possible, but I have other stuff going on too. So I think turning in three assignments by the end of February is reasonable for me. But we'll see how quickly I can get these last 10 assignments done and if I've made any improvements with speed painting. To recap, my main goal is to draw every day so I can improve my skills, expand my visual library, and have the ability to freely express my ideas. And for the month of January, I will continue working on my Evolve assignments and complete this sketchbook by the end of February. It doesn't seem like I have a lot of art goals, but I actually do. I'm just holding back on sharing those until I'm done planning how I'm going to achieve those goals and setting up a timeline, and then I'll be able to share. Anyway, you guys, thanks for stopping by. Let me know in the comments what your art goals are for this year, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.